Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic evening and uh, God is blessing you. I wanted to take some time tonight to do a uh, call to prayer to remind all of us of some of the things that are going on and the needs that some of our friends have. So here we go. The first one is a lady named Eloise Ramsey. And I just met Eloise uh, in a live feed on someone who was preaching a message and there was some talk going back and forth like we always do and she mentioned that her husband is in hospice he is a believer and uh so his his soul and his eternal security his eternal life is in good shape but at the same time they've been married for a very very long time and uh she will definitely feel a great loss so pray for eloise and her husband uh for God's blessing upon them. The next one is the world famous Matt the Scrap Whisper and his wife Nancy. They are both suffering with COVID, although tonight I saw Matt online and uh, he seemed to be doing much better and he said his wife was even better than he was feeling. And so we want to continue praying for them because sometimes you get this long haul COVID thing going and we just want to ask the Lord to bless them and get them right back on their feet as soon as possible. We'll call this section the Wayne Reynolds section. Wayne has got a lot of friends, and he's got a lot of friends who really need help from the Lord. The first one is a young man named Jordan. I think he's in his very early 20s, and he has cancer, and he has these growths on his face that are very... Um, Oh, what's the word I want to look for? Um, disfiguring. And we want to pray for Jordan that they will be able to treat him and bring healing to him. The problem is he let it go for such a long time before going to uh, seek any medical attention. And we just want to ask that the Lord would bless him and that he would also accept Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. Uh, he really needs to do that, and so we want to lift him to the Lord. Uh, then there's also Jamie. Uh, Jamie um, lost her husband. We were praying for her uh, not long ago, and Kenny was his name. And we're praying for Jamie, not only for the loss of her husband, but she has two sons who are also struggling. One has cancer, unfortunately, and the other one is just having some of life's complications going on. And we want to pray for them, that God would bless them, that uh, the family really needs healing, I guess is the best way to put it. So we want to ask our Savior, Jesus Christ, to intervene and help them with all that they're going through. And Wayne's other request was for a neighbor down the street. His name is Tommy. He's 53 years old. Uh, he has cancer and he's also had a stroke. So he's uh, in, in rough shape and really needs our prayers. Not sure what else is going on with him. I don't know if he's saved uh, or anything like that. But we do know that he needs God's help in his life, just like we all do. We want to continue praying for Joey. Um, as you may recall, Joey's wife, Lisa, his former wife, Lisa, has been missing for more than two months now. And um, there's certainly a lot of concern on Joey's part and also his two daughters. I'm sure they're just feeling lost without knowing the situation with their mom. So I want to ask that we uh, pray that Wherever Lisa is, she will be found and that God will help them and give them peace with whatever the situation is. Uh, we just don't know. We don't want to try to guess. We just want to trust God and ask him to be their strength and their help. Another gentleman that I had met at um, the uh, Resurrectors reunion, car show uh, at Outlaw Edge with Arco and Heidi, uh, his name is John. Uh, he has a channel called John Boy's Garage. And he is waiting for a heart transplant. I mentioned in an earlier one, they're thinking that it will probably take until next July. So that's almost a year from now. 
So we want to ask the Lord to bless him, keep him healthy. He, he seemed really good when I was able to talk with him at the car show. And I just want to ask you all to pray for him and uh, for his health, for his spiritual well-being, being, and um, just that the Lord will watch over him. I also want to ask you to pray for our brother, Tim, Tim Windsor. Uh, he's got some terrible car problems going on. And he really needs to get those things resolved. So I want to ask you to pray for Tim that he will be able to get those things done, that the Lord would be his helper, and that he would um, be able to get through this time. of It's a kind of a struggle. And also, if you talk to our dear brother, Tim Windsor, this Friday will be his 62nd birthday. And uh, so be sure to reach out and wish Tim a happy birthday this week. And uh, the last one I want to bring to you is my cousin Diana. I did mention her in a request some time ago, uh, a week or so ago, I guess it was. And uh, Debbie and I took church to her uh, in her hospital room. She's still in intensive care. Uh, she will be for some time. Today they were supposed to have done a pacemaker. And I think that's done, but I haven't been able to get any news on her since then. Um before that, last week, you know, I I don't know if I explained it all, but she took a fall and uh, had a lot of uh, back and neck uh, damage done. They had to fuse 15 different joints in her back and neck. That's major surgery. Um, so she's going to have to go through a lot of therapy once she gets out of the hospital. Um both for her heart and for her back and for her neck. And uh, she's 75 years old. She's one of my first cousins. And, uh, you know, I love her. I love her, love her dearly. And I just ask you to pray for her. Her name again is Diana. Um, so let's take a moment just to pray. And let's ask Jesus to be in the center of all these things. Lord, I thank you so much that we can come to you in prayer. You say to ask anything in your name. And that's what we're doing tonight. We're praying in your name that you will touch each one of these uh, situations that are so difficult and some are really serious. And, and um, Lord, we don't know what to think or what to say or what to do, but we have to call upon you. And you can be our strength. You can be our wisdom. And you can be uh, the one who gives us peace. So, Lord, each one of these requests that I spoke of tonight, I pray that you would uh, give each one a sense of your presence in their lives. Father, I pray for the families and all of those who are affected this, in these situations. And I pray, Lord, that you will receive glory regardless of what happens, because, Lord, that's what we are called to do, to glorify your name. And so tonight we say we glorify your name, Father. Pray that you would um, just watch over uh, each one of these. We look forward to seeing what your answers are, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, everybody. God bless you. Thank you for praying. And we will con I will continue to update you as uh, things develop. Bye-bye.